in the line of fire. Two weeks ago, that is where Palm Beach County Sheriff's Lieutenant Richard Burdick found himself. Tonight, he and his wife speak out together for the first time since that violent, deadly day in suburban West Palm Beach. A note, Lieutenant Burdick deals with a vocal condition unrelated to the shooting. He speaks softly but powerfully about his families, both at home and on the job. Richard Burdick says he and his wife Robin share a kiss the moment he arrives home each day. He almost didn't on June 4th. It was my birthday. And Robin had asked me that morning, you know, don't go to work. I tried to get him to stay home and play hooky that night so I could take him out for dinner. The 51-year-old watch commander, a 25-year PBSO veteran, headed for that dinner break, but not before stopping at a domestic violence call. It was very short, quick, and violent. Investigators say Armando Gonzalez Felipe shot and killed his girlfriend, Delgis Quintana. In the deputy chase that followed, a firefight began. I did feel around hit my leg, but I, I couldn't look. Um, I just finished what we were trained to do. Burdick and other deputies returned fire, killing the suspect. There's nobody that goes out wanting to hurt anybody when they leave the house. Aftershocks travel fast. They hit Robin as she stood in a grocery store aisle getting a birthday cake. And my phone rings and it's him. And he says, where are you? Like, I'm at Publix. Is everything okay? And he says, no, everything's not okay. I'm like, what do you mean everything's not okay? And so he, he went on to tell me that he'd been shot, but he was, he was okay, he was going to be fine. We have an agreement. Um, as long as a phone call comes from me, everything is okay. Richard, Robin, and his 21-year-old son, Ryan, converged at Wellington Regional Medical Center where doctors pulled a bullet from Burdick's left thigh. An even bigger shock came one week later when Burdick took a look at his work gear. And we found a second round in the uh, handcuff case. A second round in the handcuff case yes, on sir. your utility belt? Yes, sir. His bulletproof vest did not cover that area of his body. The vest, it would have struck me in the pelvic area. Uh, it would have been a very devastating wound. If it was one or two inches over, it, it would be a different, different ending. And, um, How do you cope with that reality or that potential reality? Um, faith. <laughs> I mean, you know, God plays a big part in my life. Faith and mutual support bind their marriage of seven years and a shared compassion for crime victims like the woman killed by the domestic violence Burdick came upon. One thing that they did mention was that she had a 12-year-old daughter. And kind of thinking to the future, you know, what her life is going to be like. There is empathy, too, for fellow PBSO lawmen under the microscope after a recent spate of deputy-involved shootings and what Burdick calls the painful second-guessing. Officer-involved shootings have everyone law enforcement careers, and not just the shooting, but the psychological effect of it. They do something I could never do. I could never put on the vest, put on the shield, put on the gun and go out the door. It's not in me to do it. Burdick is not new to harm's way. In 1988, he felt its harsh sting during a pursuit in Belle Glade. Fired a shot, came through the windshield, and the uh, round fragmented into my face mm -hmm. and into my uh, shoulder. He has the mentality that he's concerned for others, that he wants to see the world a better place, that he wants to keep bad from happening to good people. And I can't take that away from him. That's part of who he is, and I don't want to. I, I did promise her I will never work on my birthday again. You're going to remind him of yes, it. Yes, I will. Okay. All right. Most definitely. Richard and Robin Burdick on the front lines together. Lieutenant Burdick expects that he will be going back to work next week. Maybe a bit of light duty to start. You'll also recall a canine. Kinzo was wounded that very day. The canine, too, is recovering well. A happy ending in, in this situation, but I'll tell you, like Robin said, so many people could never do that job and put on the vest and go out and put their lives on the line every day. A reminder that it's a husband-wife team, mm -hmm. that the strength in the field, as he says very clearly, comes from the strength at home. And they said they wanted to reach out and say thank you and remind people that they feel and hurt just as everybody else does when something like this happens. Michael, thank